No, the thing is, I can't it's make... Just, I think Sean was saying Metroid, and then... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Who it is! Just stop. Okay, let's go. Vlog end. Boom. You know, this call has a significant la lack of there smash we go. train. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's My webcam is smaller... Train. Whoa, hey, smash. Oh, hey. You aboard the smash hype train? <laughs> it's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, I knew it was Hector. Somebody started on the American one and they're showing Mewtwo. Yeah. I thought that's what you saw. No. That, I honestly, I hadn't even seen it. Like, the UK one hasn't started yet. Are you just watching the USA one? I'm watching both of them. Oh, I didn't have it open. <laughs> Frigging missed the first part of it. Oh! His his smash was mega evolve. Hello, I saw that, everyone. but I missed the. Hello, very everyone. Beginning. Wow! I missed the what beginning. What you just saw is a new challenger video for Super Smash Brothers. It's okay. It took some time to develop this character after the game was completed. So we had to make you wait, but and Mew they actually said Mewtwo Mew strikes back as well in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Mew 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 back on right. April 28th <laughs> at the price listed here. And as a previous oh, that's just for buying it. So when do we get Nintendo it? Nintendo members who have purchased and registered both the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions of the game look at the EU one. March yeah, 31st, I'm gonna first will receive. A free download Dude. code for the character on April 15th. Two weeks. Alongside Mewtwo, we'll be releasing a software update from April 15th as well. Mewtwo's future, got most of his mail. We'll in continue to develop more and offer additional downloadable content for Super Smash Brothers. Here's a taste of what we have in development. Okay. First, we'll be adding more costumes for customizing Wii Fighters. Oh! In addition to the it's items a monkey. <laughs> you see here, we'll be offering costumes inspired oh, by Major okay. Game Theory. Xenoblade? Oh wow. <laughs> for the first wave, of crossover items, we created outfits inspired by X and Proto Man from Capcom's Mega Man 3. So those come with Mewtwo? But that's not all of the new content we'll be offering. Please take a look at this. Okay. What, what is this? This is a character trailer, Sean. <laughs> Lucas? <laughs> Luke, are you serious? Is this gonna be Lucas? PK Fire! <gasps> <gasps> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Comes out of nowhere! <laughs> oh my god, Golden Lotus is gonna be freaking out. Jack was hoping for that. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. I am not opposed to this. <laughs> the chat is freaking out. <laughs> yeah. I think I think the European one is literally It's just a little delayed. Yeah. Everyone in the Smash group is freaking out. Oh my god. Whoa. Hey, fast. You recognize this fighter as Lucas from Super <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and originally from Mother 3, the sequel to Earthbound released only in Japan. 
We've heard your request, and we've yeah, decided no one saw that coming. Like, <laughs> I figured they would bring back more, work, but, but we are not right now. For June. June. I imagine June. <clears throat> you may have some fighters in mind yourself. Can you think of anyone you'd like to see fight against characters like Mario or Link in Super Smash Brothers? Are they gonna open up a pool? Well, a petition? after uh, discussing it with Smash Brothers director Masahiro Sakurai, we've decided to Daddy open Sakurai. the new Smash Brothers fighter ballot on the Smash Brothers microsite after this Nintendo Direct. What? You can if vote. Fall, you can let us know directly. Directly? <laughs> character you'd like to see become the next new fighter in Smash Okay. Smash of course, please understand that we won't be able to accommodate every request. But Mr. Sakurai and the rest of the staff Cat Mario. Take each request. <laughs> Ooh, that could be interesting. When developing additional fighters, we look forward to hearing from you. Everyone's this ever snake. We also yeah. provide details on upcoming downloadable content and how to partner. Speaking of Super Smash Brothers, we are ready to announce the next waves of Amiibo Ooh. in this series. In the coming months, the following Ooh. characters will join really the side and of the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo that are already available. Well, I'll see you soon in September. Oh, oh, Amiibo Palatine, look at the Palatine Remember one! Remember that Lucina mm. and Robin can be used with codename Steam, and that Wario is compatible with Mario Party 10. We'll be releasing a number of Amiibo exclusively through retail partners. Keep an eye out oh, of for you will. <laughs> announcement from the retailer to find out when you can pre-order. That was like all the rest of the characters, wasn't it? Oh no, they didn't have Duck Hunt. I already didn't see it. Oh shit, what happened? What? what? Uh, it, it, it stopped the stream for me. and It, it brought me to the Twitch one. And Lucas. There we go. Sometime in the future. I'm just watching the a, a regular Next one now. Up, oh, you just confirmed Mewtwo and Lucas Amiibo. Amiibo. Really? Mm. Bits. This downloadable title for Wii U lets you touch Why Amiibo is Pikachu underneath Super Metroid? Gamepad to unlock gameplay what? highlights from select NES and Super NES titles. Oh! Each this was in one of the leagues, I minutes, think. So you can't experience the entire game. But you can tap an amiibo to the gamepad multiple times to switch out which scene is higher. That way, you can oh. sample a variety of scenes. That's cool. The mm. game assigned to the amiibo Reggie's amiibo. <laughs> are not predetermined. <laughs> Instead, titles are Boom. randomly assigned when you scan your amiibo of choice for the first time. So in that way, it's That's... like a Box of I want a Bowser Jr. You well. never know what you are going to get. <laughs> are you serious, Rocco? <laughs> there will be many classic. He caught his force again. So try scanning different amiibo. It's sort of like swapping game cartridges on an old NES or Super NES. That's pretty cool. Amiibo tapped Nintendo's greatest bits. We release. People in the Smash group are just saying boxes of chocolates confirmed. <laughs> Next, awesome. please take a look at this. Oh, Mario Maker. I thought it was just gonna go... Again. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the 30th anniversary. Strats. <laughs> People in the chat are saying like Forrest Gump confirmed for Smash Bros. Everyone's gonna type that into the the pool. <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> what you just saw was a 30th anniversary commemoration video created with the Wii U game 
Mario Maker. That's right, it's been 30 years since the launch of the original Super Mario Brothers game on the NES in 1985. I couldn't be happier that Mario has It's still kind of sinking in that Lucas is coming back. <laughs> Thanks in no small part to the love you all have for Mario. I was thinking, I was watching one of Steven plays videos on Smash 4 and they were doing like because they main like Ness and Lucas in Brawl mm. and Steven and now. And, like unfortunately Lucas isn't here. What will be a definitive Mario experience? Mario. I'm glad Lucas is back because there was there's only one Earthbound Mario representative. Maker is a game that lets you use the Wii U Game Pass to create and play Mario levels. All you have to do is place characters or other pieces from Mario. Yeah, it's actually that's so cool. Level. Mm. That way, anyone can create. Although, level. like fans have been doing this. Yeah. For years. You'll be able to switch between four different Super Mario Brothers game themes, from the 8-bit pixel art of the original to the world of. New Super Mario ah, Brothers, you uh, I just hit back and space enjoy space. the action that each provides. You can upload I'm gonna have to watch Etika's stream after this because Etika like is gonna freak out when he's whenever he's on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe this is your oh wow! Was becoming a world famous level what? Oh, Koopas! <laughs> Mario Maker will launch this September. Cool. As we approach its release. We'll be exploring fun ways I wonder if they're going to be talking about, you know, the whole the Wii U not happening thing. They might mention Please it. Stay tuned I mean, it's 50 minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's now, only 11 minutes. will be going 10. Pass it over to Trinan at Nintendo of America for more updates Please stay and tuned. announcements. Bill? Bill? Thanks, Mr. Roy. Hey, Bill Trinan. with some news on upcoming Wii U games. <laughs> First is Yoshi. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that game. Yoshi's Woolly World is a creative and lovingly crafted oh, I think you're ahead of Yoshi of me. series. Yoshi's Woolly World. It reimagines uh. fan favorite gameplay elements and makes them feel brand new again. I I I, see, I won't react to this after this. Yoshi's Adventure is an action game that no, takes I just place in a Woolly World again. spread across varied stages, so it, like, featuring it. fun yarn challenges. You'll create platforms that ground pound. and even unravel yarn walls to discover hidden paths. Yoshi's epic yarn. To aid in these tasks. Yoshi must use Basically, his signature yeah. moves, I want this like game. This looks enemies, really good. I'm gonna get it. Meanwhile, he'll explore every nook Too and bad I have no money. <laughs> every stage as he collects items and heads to the goal. The game offers two modes: classic mode and mellow mode. It, it reuses some sound effects classic from Epic Yarn. Classic mode has a similar feel to traditional Yoshi series games, and despite the game's cute visuals, it will prove quite challenging even for veteran players. Mellow mode, on the other hand, allows hmm. players of all skill levels to enjoy the game as winged Yoshi, who happens to have the cutest voice you can imagine. Yeah, have some wings and cheat. You can switch between the two modes at any time during the play, so if you get stuck in regular mode, you can switch over and continue enjoying yourself in mellow mode. No. Oh, I should mention, there are also special Yoshi amiibo. <laughs> <laughs> the current lineup of amiibo figures are all made of hard materials. Okay, yeah, the UK, the European one is a little different from now. Yarn, Wait, just oh. like the heroes of Yoshi's Woolly World. When you tap the Yoshi amiibo on the Wii U gamepad, <laughs> another Yoshi will appear in the game, allowing you to play with double Yoshi. That way, even when you're playing single player, you won't feel like you're playing alone. As in the multiplayer mode, playing with double Yoshi alone with myself. You turn your ally into a yarn ball to throw at enemies or to cross chasms. It really expands the gameplay. Yoshi's Woolly World will launch later this year. Woolly Amiibo. The Yarn Yoshi Amiibo will be available in three different colors. You Green, already know pink, no one's going to be able to get those. Yeah. Next up is Splatoon. Oh, Splatoon. They're just like in little plushes with Amiibo stands in their backside. Who can transform into humanoids. I can't wait to play this so game. So far, we've introduced a four-on-four -four online ink battle mode called Turf Wars. In a single player campaign Apparently they're doing Octopath, Amiibo for Splatoon you as well. set off on your own to take down the Inklings' natural born enemies, the Octopus Army. But today, we'll show you two more modes. The first is an online mode called Ranked Battle. Just like in Turf Wars, you'll team up with three other players to battle it out in four on four matches. However, this mode includes a ranking system. Ranked Battle has several rules that differ from Turf Wars. 
In one mode called Splat Zones, players I know it's a while ago now, but the the, the Lucas so trailer. I like how they did it because it's like Lucas saved Ness, but like in subspace, Ness yeah. saved Octarian Lucas. And single player, hit up turf wars for a casual multiplayer matchup, and then Although up the intensity Lucas went back in ranked battle, battles. where you'll find the most serious competition. Another mode included in the game is called the Battle Dojo. Ooh. Here you can enjoy local one-on-one -on -one battles with friends. In this mode. One player uses the gamepad as a screen, while the other plays on the TV screen. Each one competing to see who can pop the highest number of balloons in a given stage. You can play this mode on the same stages as in Turf Wars. So just like in a real dojo, you can practice your moves and learn the layout and locations of obstacles to up your game in Turf Wars. We have one more Splatoon announcement today. We've decided to release Inkling Amino right yeah. alongside the game's launch. When you touch an Inkling Bad. Amiibo, oh, those are cool. pad, you'll receive missions based on the Amiibo you tap in. By completing these missions, you can acquire special weapons and gear that you can only get from these That's compatible really cool. Amiibo. The Splatoon series of Amiibo will be available in a single pack including an Inkling Girl, an Inkling Boy, <laughs> and an Inkling Squid on May 29th okay. when Splatoon That's good. launches. Or you can buy the Inkling Girl or the Inkling Boy. I'm just saying that they're becoming Skylanders. <laughs> I can't wait for that game. Very good. Moving along, I'm happy I to want announce it. I really do want it. Nintendo 64 <laughs> and Nintendo oh, DS games awesome. to our Wii U yes! console service. When playing Nintendo DS virtual console games, your TV monitor and Wii U gamepad will provide multiple dual screen Mario Kart DS to maximize your enjoyment. Some games will use your TV monitor well, as the main selling my 3DS capture card. Uh, Metroid uh, Prime Hunters? Cool. You're playing, you can select the layout that best suits that title. The Nintendo 64 Virtual Console titles, you can select from one of three different control schemes and then configure specific buttons to your liking, or to better match the layout of the Nintendo 64 controller. And yes, if a particular game supported the Rumble Pack on Nintendo 64, the Wii U gamepad oh, will be ready tell me to smash. run accordingly. And of course, both Nintendo DS and Nintendo 64 games can be played on the Wii U gamepad screen. Oh my god! Keep in mind Mario that the 64. Wii U virtual console versions of Nintendo 64 oh, games perfect. that already purchased on Wii and transferred to Wii U will be Dude, available at a special cheap. discounted price of $2 each. Yoshi's Island DS will be released immediately after this announcement, okay. as will the Nintendo 64 game, Super mm. Mario 64. Oh, wow, okay. The following titles will also be available soon. Come on, please. Wario Me please, up. please. Ah, uh, Metro Prime Hunters isn't there. Damon Baker, who's got some updates on upcoming indie titles. Thanks, Bill. There's a lot of great stuff headed to the Nintendo eShop, so let's get right into okay. it. Coming to <laughs> Adventures of Pip is a puzzle I'm sure they'll have suddenly viewer viewing, viewing drops by like 50%. Pip is the unlikeliest digital underdog, a single pixel able to absorb the pixels of his defeated enemies to evolve into three different forms. Skillfully switch between each form while exploring five dangerous worlds to overthrow the evil skeleton queen. Rescue trapped villagers to unlock new shops, and don't forget to use your gamepad to quickly access your inventory or quick travel throughout the land. Oh, you're a uh, Catch is a game Splatoon all about the Amiibo bundle, not to as in like Splatoon with an Amiibo. Deadliness. Oh, wow. Also known as Fatherhood. In this one, you play as a dapper Octodad, oh, yeah, masquerading this. as a human. Octodad. And as such, oh, Octodad. You master simple everyday tasks. Yeah, Zach's, Zach's sister, uh, Speedrun. Oh, while keeping your really? Really? Potty nature a secret <laughs> Speedrun's Octodad. I think I think she has the world record actually. There's even a ridiculous you know, co-op mode where wow. up to four players each control a different tentacle. Collect <laughs> four about different people. When Octodad, Dadliest Catch, flops his way onto Wii U this time. Wow. The mutant muds are back on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, ready to soil the land in the sequel to the acclaimed original. Mutant Muds Super Challenge contains 40 brand new levels filled with dimension bending, platforming fun. That will have you hopping in and out of the background to discover DS virtual console and collect gems. Be prepared to DS virtual console, Thomas. The challenge has been cranked up a notch. N64 all, virtual console on Wii U. It's gonna look beautiful. You can download it on but yeah, DS, like, 
I, and if you own my the dick. original, a loyalty <laughs> discount will Friggin also be done. Friggin' 3DS capture card was pumped. <laughs> and don't starve giant edition. Suppose that helps though, since I can't bloody really record from it at the moment. And do whatever it takes to survive in a wilderness filled with science, magic, and things that go bump in the night. Randomly generated worlds things and that the go constant bump threat in the of knife. permadeath will keep you on your toes. But luckily, your trusty gamepad will be with you to display your inventory <laughs> and map, or to play the game in off TV mode. <laughs> Don't Starve Giant Edition will also launch with a special promotion. Every purchase gets you two copies of the game. We're, we're not even halfway through send it yet. Send your second copy to a friend and they'll be able to embark on their You know people are just going to send in the, um, like, spam stuff back to, to uh, Take a look the ballot box. Oh, yeah. Other titles of course. Soon to the they like, they should have had a drop-down list. No, because then they'll be like, oh, they're considering adding all of these characters. I suppose. And then if they don't add them all, it'll just be really sad. Is they just want to see who who gets the most demand, yeah. so they'll just have Ridley, <laughs> Ridley, Ridley, Ridley Wolf. Affordable space adventures. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them before. That reminds me a lot of Radio Plus. Yeah. Never alone. Octo dead. <laughs> Swag. Del Ninja Pizza Go. Adventures of Pip. Back to bed. Space okay. Hulk. Space Hulk, really? Look. Race the sun. Doors. Doors. He showed, yeah. guess what? Guess what? what? Doors. Doors confirm the smash. <laughs> everyone okay, puts so in the, everyone puts in the ballot doors. So friggin' DK64 is on Virtual Console. I, I will probably get that eventually, because I've never played that game. Everyone puts in the ballot for Smash, uh, Doors. <laughs> doors, yeah. <laughs> no, well, in the UK bit, one, let's start with the uh, Mario Kart DS, Wario Wet Touch, DK64, and Mario 64. Buy three, get one free. Atlas, Nintendo. Wait, what's what is it? Atlas is making. Uh, some JRPG. Oh. <laughs> Looks like. <laughs> Wait, is this Fire Emblem? Uh, no. Oh, I thought that was Martha for a second. Amine. Amine did some brooding. Or is this... No, it's not the oh. same. Oh my god. Uh, on the UK one, Pandora's Tower and Sin and Punishment's Accessor of the Skies are coming to the Wii, and that's what was in the leak. Which means, if the leak is true, we're getting a new Paper Mario. Pandora's Tower? Oh, I wonder if I got the key. That's just the UK one though, which is actually where the leak came from, it came from Germany. This is an interesting looking game actually. Kinda looks like Persona. Or, you know, any Amine ever. Anime. Uh, Amine. <laughs> Amine. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna Thank you for waiting, everyone. It's been a long time since we announced this project, but the game you just saw is indeed the crossover Wait. between Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem that we announced oh, in I January told you. in a Nintendo Direct. The role playing masters at Atlas are developing a truly modern RPG. Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem, I knew it. I'm getting that. A secret world of fantasy. 
including characters from the Fire Emblem series. Yeah, because I knew, I knew it looked like it with the, it with the cinematics. Stay tuned for like... more information on this title in the future. Mm. Now it's time for... Oh. Was was that saying, Yorin? <laughs> now it's time for a new Wii U title Spooky that fans falls. have been clamoring for. Clamoring this new for. entry of the mm. Fatal Frame series, you play as one of three different characters, each with mm. their own storyline set that at was the first odd. tourist destination, Mount Hikami. Using the well, Wii U game, it is a horror game camera, that's probably why they investigate did. different areas while soaking in the atmosphere. But occasionally, your camera will be used to fend off hostile spirits in quick bursts of action. Mm. Prepare for scares when the game haunts the U.S. Prepare. later this year. Keep your eyes peeled for more details coming soon. Now let's dive into. I just noticed he's wearing a new Challenger approaching shirt. Nintendo but they're yeah. revealing one Watchmen. more. It's a charming puzzler from the platforming masters at Howl Laboratory, the developers of the Kirby series. Across the game's black and white world, you'll discover a wealth of mysteries just begging to be solved. To do so. You'll navigate more than 150 stages full of interesting challenges using the main character's ability to duplicate his blocky body. With this technique, he can invent unique structures like the shielding afro, and he can use them to protect himself, hit switches, and snip <laughs> Afro shield too like strong. <laughs> Whatever type of gamer you are, chances are you haven't solved many puzzles like these before. So figuring them out just feels good. And so does parading around in the block costumes you'll unlock along the way. Some of them even make you move faster, jump higher, and look as I'm much block like man. a ninja block as you feel on the inside. Life's good when you're a ninja block. Ninja Life's block. good when you're ninja a ninja Brian. <laughs> ninja block him. Box Boy. Okay. That was in the German Next, league, but it was called Boy Boy, but I guess that was a translation series. error. Pokemon Rumble World. Mm -hmm. It's a fast yes, this was in it as well. You can download for free and start playing this right leak away. is bloody confirmed, it isn't it? More than 700 Pokemon from Pokemon for free? Red and Blue through Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Some of which can even Mega Evolve. Making toy Pokemon attack is Are you going to tell me it's a freemium button. game? To advance in your journey, you'll square off against tons of wild toy Pokemon and defeat them to add to your collection. During your adventure, you'll travel to different areas on hot air balloons. Where you go depends on the type of balloon you're on. As you play, you'll acquire different balloons using items called Poke Diamonds, allowing you to reach more distant areas where you'll encounter yeah, new crops it's and wild toy Pokemon. How do you know? There are other ways Poke Diamonds aid you during the You can tell by the diamond thing. You can get uh. Poke Diamonds when you beat certain stages, or even via street pass. Or you can purchase them through the Nintendo eShop yep. using funds from your account. Which you can access at a shop in Castletown, your adventurer's home base. <coughs> Pokemon Rumble World will be free to download starting on April 8th through the eShop on Nintendo 3DS. If you love Mario, but RPGs, he just said it was available after his <gasps> presentation. Is looking bright because two brand new full length RPGs are headed your way in a single package. Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Brothers Edition packs in two unique games at a great price. Okay. <laughs> Each game is its own separate adventure. See, when it said RPG for some reason, I thought it might have been Paper Mario. And gameplay twists. Someone in the Puzzle Smash group just said, call me when they announced Infinite. I'm going to put Infinite in Smash. Rescue her this time, Mario and Luigi must take the Koopa King down by crafting the perfect team of his own minions. Wait, what? In battle, Read the chat. Re uh, the ch Skype chat. Why? Read what Theo just typed. To create matches of three or more for greater damage. Attack on Titan Game 3DS. Yes. Chain five or more orbs and you'll unleash a Did I miss something here? Multiple enemies. Picking the right team is paramount. Maybe he's ahead in the stream. Like Mario, or even Boo Luigi, that far ahead. Each of which has a passive skill that is used automatically. Companions have skills too. Maybe I missed it on the UK one. After a certain number of turns have passed. To gain new skills, Ask him it wasn't in the UK one or the... Which also hmm. increases their level cap. Items like the Super Mushroom or Goomba Coin cause transformations to occur, like a red Koopa Troopa riding that's on That's stupid though, why would they show one thing in a different stream? And that's just one game included in this they, Some things don't get localized or different release dates and things like that. Which weaves a whole separate tale that sees you joining an ancient dragon research organization known as the Rangers. On your quest to save the world, you encounter more than 250 well, what's he monsters, saying? each of which can serve as your team what? leader. What's he saying about this? With tons of strategic options. 
and by using chips gathered from defeated monsters, you can even evolve your monsters into new forms. With these evolutions come new skills, higher level caps, and different stats. Puzzle and Dragon Maybe they just mentioned it. Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario got the sound on, on on the, the UK one. Store shelves May 22nd. But you can pre-order it beginning today on Nintendo.com. Yeah, I, maybe because I can't they're only at Box Boy on the other one. Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Brothers Edition will have a demo available April 30th on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Oh, so demo, feel free okay. to try it out. For a really in-depth look at the demo the try. and what makes it so compelling, make sure to check out the new video on our YouTube channel that goes up today. Our next title still is 20 a minutes title, left. Humanity in Chains from Atlas. Ah! A fast-paced action game you play as characters from the popular manga and anime series. As an elite member of the Scout Regiment, you can experience the feeling of bringing down a titan on your own or with friends. Don't get me wrong, it's it, from what I've seen from the Japanese version, it's pretty bad. The game but it's also the supports the C-stick yeah, the new Nintendo 3DS XL for smoother camera control. Finally, to inspire you to join the Scout Regiment when the game releases, the first two episodes of the Attack on Titan anime are now available in Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Attack on Titan, Humanity and Chains will be available the same, in May, right. only on the Nintendo eShop. Only on the eShop? Turn-based action strategy All right, game, then. codenamed Steam, is already challenging players with the depth of strategy you'd expect from our friends at So it's not going to get physical release. But if you haven't had the chance to try it yourself, uh -huh. Feel free to download I don't like that it's because I was gonna just get it and Nintendo get a e capture card. And remember that if you have a new Nintendo 3DS XL, you can Someone just said in the Smash Group attack on overrated. Like <laughs> on the NFC touch point to add that oh, look, character to roster. <laughs> oh boy. If you weren't able to get a hold of a Martha Bad. Amiibo, Hang don't on. worry. We'll be releasing more Martha Amiibo in May. So stay in the loop and don't there miss your go. second chance. <laughs> Releasing more in May. In related news, there's an update on the way to Codename Steam that will improve the player's experience, allowing you to speed up enemy turns by pressing a fast forward button. Specific okay. details will be announced on our social media channels soon. In honor of literature's most famous trickster, we're starting an online public tournament called Hijinx, named for Tom Sawyer himself. This deathmatch tournament will run from today until April 5th. Tom Sawyer. So if you want to participate, oh, they're adding more games to Street Pass to by the looks of things the on the UK the one. There will be more street Pass in the fishing future, and Street so Pass zombies. Top players in these tournaments will even Ooh. earn special titles. I never even bought the other online. ones. Next, I have some info on a new update to Street Pass Me Plaza. Hmm. The software already contains oh, several games is. crafted specifically with Street Pass functionality in mind. The last update in 2013 added four games to the plaza. Now, <laughs> we're bringing two new games to the plaza. The first one is called Ultimate Angler. In this fishing game, they call them the different things in, street in pass Europe. It's weird. To try and catch various fish with bait received from me characters by a street pass. You'll have to pick the right bait to hook the fish you're trying to catch, and if it bites, reel it in. There are over 150 fish scattered across the islands. Not to mention several legendary mm. monsters. The other new Street Pass game is Battleground oh, Z. Kyoga. <laughs> In this action game, players receive items based on their Street Pass Meat Plaza character's <laughs> hobby and use them as weapons to beat down hordes of Party popper weapon. It all goes down in the city of Hobbyville, <laughs> home to people who take their hobbies and zombie outbreaks. Oh, they're seriously. adding a a thing to rescue the citizens looking of Hobbyville, at the one on the UK one, which is ahead. You can, like, the best the give your, your Street Pass Me a birthday, and it's Alongside like a collection games, thing. Like, you've got to collect every birthday. Pass me Plaza Premium, which brings I'm to guessing the service this is even it. more ways to interact with me characters. Street Pass Me Plaza Premium is a paid content which offers up new features like Street Pass birthdays. Now you can start filling in the dates of your Street Pass Me characters' birthdays on the new calendar and also store up to 100 Mii's of your friends or special Mii's in the new VIP room. Hmm. The new update to Street Pass Mii Plaza will be available on April 16th. Ultimate Angler, Battleground Z, I love and Reggie's Street Pass Mii. Mii Plaza <laughs> Premium can each be purchased individually inside Street Pass Mii Plaza once the update is complete. 
If you purchase both Ultimate Angler and Battle I mean, Ramsey together, you can get them. If for you're a Abdallah Smash price. Zero Two Six, <laughs> Abdallah. The Nintendo 3DS family of systems already has a great library of role-playing games. One look around the internet, and you'll find lots of gamer love for titles like Fire Emblem Awakening. The UK one is ahead now, so I'm sort of seeing everything that's coming out. Oh, Bravely keep up! Come on, Bravely Second, please, Bravely Second, release date. Because the role-playing swan song of the last generation oh. is brand new again. Exclusively on the new Nintendo I'm 3DS. I'm really Excel feeling system. it. <laughs> the new Nintendo 3DS Excel version combines the original's amazing story, vast landscapes, and intense real time battles with new features like the collection. Here you can view 3D animated models and listen to the entire soundtrack, even with your system closed. It's time for the world debut of a new trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Oh. Enjoy. Why though? We know what Xenoblade is. Seems like yesterday. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monarch. Sure. Well, this might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. Just realize something. The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. I still need to play Xenoblade. Get back here! No! If they know your next move, it's all in vain. It can't be! A movie trailer. I control it by the light of the Monada. I will stop them. My name is Chaka Conroy, <laughs> and I do up. No, because he has a Monado, doesn't he? Yeah. He keeps it in, like, a frickin' rifle case. Yeah. April 10th. Wait, it's not out yet? Okay. That... Abdallah got it sent. <laughs> so is he doing Let's it right now? The new He's been LPing it for a few for days. Nintendo 3DS, which we announced in the last Nintendo Direct. As in Fire Emblem Awakening, the main character will be a customizable avatar created by the player. However, in that game, the character you created was more like a second protagonist, or even a partner for the main character. This time around, for the first time in the series, your created character is the main protagonist of the game. Today, I would like to show you a new trailer okay. that highlights some changes only made possible because the player is now the main hero. Please take a look. I Please really, take a look. I really want them to bravely second. Mm. Ooh. This looks really nice. Did make a movie, please. Or a cartoon, anime. Just the way that it's like cell shaded, it just looks really good. Is that Wolverine? <laughs> Time to tip the scales. I'm really feeling the scales. Meaning I'm fucking fat. <laughs> I wonder if they'll do like a Smash Bros update and they'll give Robin alternates that look like those characters. You up? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> oh, Nita! That's literally the only word she said so far. Yeah. She said only chantos.
Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm sniffly. What about your chair toilet paper? Where is it? <laughs> there are two kingdoms at war. The peace-loving Hoshiro and the glory-seeking Nor. It's up to the player to decide which side to take. Oh. As always, there are two sides to every story, and in this game, the path you choose ultimately decides your character's fate. No matter what, the world and characters will be the same, but depending on the decision you make, the storyline, battles, and outcomes will be drastically different. On the Hoshido side, you'll experience a more traditional path as you work together with your allies to fend off Norian invaders. Because this path story is more similar to past Fire Emblem games, it's a bit more accessible, even for newcomers. On the other hand, if you choose the Norn, uh, you'll be forced to revolutionize stop talking about Fire Emblem now? on the inside. So the story will be slightly more complex, and the difficulty will be more challenging. The new Fire Emblem for Nintendo 3DS is planned for a 2016 release. So hard America. mode is being the bad Stay guy. Stay tuned for more information. In That's the actually kind of cool. You may have heard something about these cards I'm holding. No. Well, we're finally oh, these are the amiibo cards. These cards feature characters from the Animal Crossing series. <clears throat> and you can Goose. use these Goose. cards in a brand new Nintendo 3DS game called Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Oh, maybe not. The game offers you a unique way to interact with your favorite animals from the series <clears throat> without doing chores. It's all about the home decorating and design aspects of Animal Crossing. Oh. In fact, Animals will request the player to design a house for them, one that fits their rather specific taste. So you're a house designer. <laughs> then, it's up to the player to furnish and decorate their homes and meet the animal's request by designing them a home that suits their sense of style. That's where the cards come in. They're a new, more portable form of amiibo that doesn't require a figure. Yep. In an Animal Crossing series amiibo card, you can tap it in to design a room for the animal on the card. After designing their room, you can scan if these are the same amiibo price as regular and amiibo, other animals they to wouldn't. come visit their house, and then kick back and watch them have fun together or snap a photo. In other words, amiibo cards let you experience a different side of the Animal Crossing world than you normally see in the core series. <laughs> the Animal Crossing series amiibo cards and the game Animal Crossing Happy Home nice Designer will be released this fall. Huh? We will yeah. also release an NFC Reader Rider accessory on the same day as Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. That way, you can scan Amiibo on regular Finally. Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS systems as well. We have a couple more Good. announcements to make. That means you can use your Amiibo in Smash 3DS without having a new 3DS. See you next time. Mm, back to you, Hello again. For today's final game. I have Hello. some new information about downloadable content for Mario Kart. Yay! We need a release date. It's stale. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cart. Look at that cart. Oh my god. Oh cool. Oh, there's Isabel. Is that like a variant of Mr. Scooty? Yes. What you are watching right now is the new Animal Crossing port included in Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2. Here you <laughs> find included. familiar elements and characters <laughs> that make this port feel like a piece of the Animal Crossing world. On this port, this series is changed each time you race. Oh, is that oh. a different villager? Summer, fall, oh, the course changes. And yeah, but that was a different What's villager. Yeah. Game? Are they gonna have different costumes like the shy guy? In a variety right. in the of seasonal vista scenes. Plus, oh. we put a lot of effort into the background music too. The background track is 
Team Zing Guitar is like, yeah. <laughs> How to two villagers? Oh, okay. City Tripper. Just oh, okay. because of Bright Bowser, why not? As well as eight yeah. new courses, including the Animal Crossing course you just saw. We are happy to announce that instead of in May, this pack will be released on April 23rd. In the future, we'll have more details okay. about the cards and courses that are on the way. Alongside this release, <gasps> more me racing suit will be oh, more I, I figured they were going to do this, because I'm sorry. Amiibo characters will add costumes to the game. Please try on your favorite... Well, no one's getting the Rosalina one, except me. <laughs> we have one more announcement oh. for Mario Party. Okay. Please take a look. Mario Kart series has been a part of many gamers' lives Sam is for years, yeah. <laughs> ever since the debut of Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1992. Each entry in the series has featured gameplay that appeals to kids and adults alike by offering three main racing classes. 50 CC. This feels like it should a be a Disney. Which anyone can enjoy playing <laughs> with relative ease. 100 CC, a speedier class that requires some skill and technique. Come on, Dad. <laughs> 150 cc the fastest class where finely honed skills are needed to compete with the best of the best but now what 200 cc what? is here oh, oh my That's another eight videos for my Mario Kart 8 series. But you know what that also means? <laughs> Time what? trial records. Oh. Look how frigging fast they're going! Everyone in the chest just like gotta go fast. <laughs> Ever since the original Super Mario Kart game, 150 CC has been the fastest class. But now we are introducing you to a whole new oh level. Oh my god! The 200 CC class. Because it's so fast, you so, have to another, like, have a good ten friggin' videos for my series. <laughs> Like what happens when you freaking use a golden mushroom? This not only applies to <laughs> downloadable code. Every code in the game will offer a 200 CC class. Oh my local god. And online play. Alongside Mario Kart 8 DLC Pack 2. You know, that would have made getting the gold glider a lot easier because the braces would have ended quicker. <laughs> After downloading the update, April 23rd, okay. Enjoy this new 200cc class People are saying melee cart because it's the fastest. Speed or not, we try out this new 200cc class of races. That's all for today. Thank you that for watching. That is insane. Not sure, I believe. Oh, I can stop the recording now. Don't think I'll upload that really. Not a whole lot of. <sighs> might as well hey everybody, up welcome to the, the Nintendo like, hey, Treehouse. I am Eric. Morgan. Hey guys. And <laughs> Yo. I'm like, oh, it's going to be uploaded now, even though I said, oh, I don't think I'll upload it. <laughs> so they're showing Splatoon. I missed. Uh, I thought the recording for now. If anyone wants it, hope you enjoyed. I added it in time. Okay, bye. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo.